Uh, hello YouTube, this is Goopers or Nerfx Mods X for the win, and I will be showing all of you how to make every type of uh, card in Madden into an avatar for the EA forums, MUT Evo, uh, MUTRS, whatever website you use, and what I will be doing is, uh, I already have made a template, or template, or just based on what I'm going to use, because I don't want to have to show you all this, because this is really self-explanatory, but as you can see, it is Ashton Yabuti, uh, my favorite player, and, um, but the, obviously the picture is missing, so I'm going to be showing you all the different types of pictures that you should make, so, um, here's the picture that I want to use, I'll show you what it looks like. There you go. It's just him getting ready for a play. But, so, you're going to make a new uh, thing. It could be any size, but drag the picture that you want to use into this. Use the scale tool. Just click it so that you can see the size. So it's 483 by 745, uh, and that's my dog. Sorry about that. So you're going to want to enter that. Uh, 483 by 745 okay and then once you have that what you're going to do is since I'm going to have more than one example I'll be making multiple of these you don't have to do this if you're only making one so you're gonna drag and drop that picture I'm really sorry about the dog shut up Chang sorry <laughs> but uh so like I think that the coolest effect that you could get is the 24-hour playoff card. I really like that. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your picture, select that uh, in your layer box, and then you're going to go to filters, and then artistic, and then you're going to want to uh, cartoon, and this cartoonifies the picture. You want to set the percent black to zero. And you want to set the mask radius to your liking. I prefer 25. So as you can see, it looks a little more like a cartoon. It's a little bit darker. And now the real effect comes in, which is, again, filters, artistic. But instead of going to cartoon, you're going to go to oilify. This is what you want to use. And as you can see, it almost makes it look like it's from an oil painting. Uh, what I like is exponent 8 and then mask size 12. And as you can see, it's oil painting. And so there you go. It looks like it's 24-hour painted. So then you're just going to go save that to your desktop. I'll do that now untitled saving folder desktop sure so there you go now you have 24 hour playoff card and then another thing that I know people like to do oh and then uh, you probably know how to insert the picture so you're just gonna want to do that and then so let's close this so here uh, now let's say that you want to make a numbered ghost card okay uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your picture and then you're gonna make a duplicate or a duplicate so you can either press right click and press duplicate or you could just press this and then you're going to take you're gonna make this non-visible you're going to take this layer the one that is visible you're gonna go to filters distorts emboss and I just like to do 30 45 20 as you can see and then do okay Gosh, where, where, okay, there we go, right, where the heck is it, there it is, sorry about that, so as you can see, it's just like an outline of them, it doesn't look that great, now you're going to make this visible, and reduce the opacity to what I, I like to use 45, oops, I did that to this layer, 45, And as you can see, it almost looks numbered. You're, now you're going to press Control-M to merge all layers. 
merge them all, and as you can see, that looks like a numbered ghost card. So you're just going to save that how you saved this, either as a JPEG or XCF or however you want to save that. And um, then you're going to move on, and let's say you want to make a Club 100, because that is another wanted card, or pe people that, or thing that people don't know how to make. You're going to drop in your thing. And then what you're going to want to do is go full screen. And I like, if you're new to cutting players, you're going to want to go four to 800%. But if you do it a reasonable amount, I just like 300%. And then you're going to want the scissors tool with an interactive boundary. So be sure that you select this. Then start where you want. I'll start right at the armpit. And then just click your way around him. I'm sorry, I'm not going to speed this up. I'll just try to go fast. The longer you take, the neater it will be. So, I mean, if, if it's, like, really important, you really want it to be nice, take your time, and the more you zoom in, the more precise it'll look because mistakes are less noticeable, of course. So, just making my way around. And be sure not to select anything else and try not to misclick anywhere other than like along his body because that could be a mistake that people make. And so, just make your cuts. As you can see, I'm just going extremely fast right now. You never want to really go this fast, especially if you're making an avatar for someone else. Because it could really look sloppy. And they definitely won't want that. So as you can see, I'm almost done. Okay, now you're going to, once you finish the outline, you want to click inside of him, okay? Then you don't have to select any tool. Just go to this because you don't want to mess anything up. So as you can see, you have an alpha selection. You're going to want to go to edit, copy, so that you have what's inside the image copied, okay? And then you're going to want to go to your actual thing, and then you're going to want to paste. Oops. I did not paste that in the correct place. You're going to want to go back here, create a new layer, okay? Bring it down right in front of the layer one player. You're not going to want to make that visible. Then you're going to want to paste. Okay, so as you can see, there's a little bit of them. You're going to want to use your scale tool right here. And then you just want to shrink him down so that he fits in how you want him to. So as you can see, I think that that looks pretty good, at least for what we're doing now. Then you're going to want to click somewhere else just within the layer. So there you go. Now, to change the actual color of the Club 100, you're going to want to go to this color changer. As you can see, then you're going to want to go to uh, colors, colorize. And if you, as you can see, if you change these, so let's say I want it green, but a brighter green, increase the lightness. And the saturation, as you can see, it gets brighter. Then save that. So, as you can see, I could just save it like this. And those are all of the special types of players that you could make. Um, go ahead, save this. And then I'll make another video on how to actually upload them. But um, thank you for watching my video. Hopefully this helps you make your special types of avies. And, uh, yeah, I'll, more videos to come, hopefully.